I'm recording. Sorry, I forgot to record. Thanks for now. Okay, cool. Back at it. All right, let's get into this. So real quick, the team, you've met, you've met almost everybody. I'm, I'm Jeff, I'm your program director, your fearless leader. Fernando is not here. Fernando's finished at barber school. He graduated from Sac State last year. He's in barber school. He'll be your lead academic mentor. If you're at Sac State, he will be there every single day, 8.30 to five in the office or on campus, or in this case, online to support you guys. Josh is a college success coach. You already met him. Ismail is a college success coach. Brandon, of course, college success coach. And Kyle Hazel, who is an, a college success coach, but has a full-time position in the, for right now in the summer um, in San Francisco. And if I told you how much he was making, you would want this job as well. But he's a computer science major. So if you want to talk to him about that reality, he would definitely do it. He's from San Francisco. He's heavily involved in campus. I think we all you know, love and enjoy working with Kyle. But I was going to say, you got, you got a good team here, right? You got a good, you, we have a good cross-section of experience. Fern was a transfer. Or, or, or experience with had to leave and come back. Ismail went straight through. Josh has had every financial aid issue possible happen to him. Is that, is that fair to say, Josh? Like, Josh, Josh had a, a, a semester that I might have broke some records, to be honest. That's what some <laughs> I'm not joking. Do. Like, it was Never just before, seen before. Like, even like the vice president of student affairs was like, what? Yeah. And Brandon, I know you guys look at Brandon through, you know, he's, he's never had any problems in his life. But Brandon has had, personal and, and, and school challenges that he's handled um, with, with strength and, 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 and perseverance. So I want to make sure you know that. And Ismail has experienced what it's like to actually have the schedule that you don't want, where like you can start class at like 7.30 in the morning, then you have a break, then another class and a break, and where the, you only can take the one class when it's offered. But at the same time, he knows what it's like to really manage um, a very heavy workload. And everybody does here too. So cool. And they all have experience, um, you know, community to school, Josh lived on campus, a lot of different experiences. All right, real quick. Um, and if you're doing anything else, so just so you know who I am, um, I am the oldest person in IYT. I will not hide my age. I'm 45 years old. I look young. I understand that. Um, I am born and raised in the Bay. I, um, I grew up in, the, in his, I was in Richmond until I was five. Then I moved out to a little city called Pinole. Lived there my whole life. When I was 11 years old, when I was about nine, 10, my dad got sick. When I was 11, he passed away. And then in middle school, um, I discovered what it's like to make people laugh in class. And I went to seventh and eighth grade in public school. My mom sent me out to private school. So I went to private school. I hated it, hated it. And then when I was done hating it, I hated it some more. But it taught me a lot. I went to SF State because, does anyone remember my team why I went to SF State? What did they not require? You remember? An essay. <laughs> I went to my, when I applied to college, they're like, oh, you have to write an essay? I was like, nope. <laughs> essay? Nope. No essay. Fill me up. So, but I ended up going to, I know, I'm not a good example. Um, I went to SF State and I majored in ethnic studies and liberal studies and I loved it. It changed my life. I met some amazing friends. I joined a fraternity. I was in student government. I worked in housing. And I just kind of became comfortable in like who I am. And I got far enough away from home that I could do my own thing and then still be close enough to my mom. So I graduated in 1997, which sounds like a long time ago because it is. And then I immediately uh, went into not working and just kind of working some jobs here and there. And then uh, almost about a few months later, I became a substitute teacher. And in the midst of this time, I also started working with this nonprofit organization called Making Waves, which is basically like IYT, but for, for, men, for young men and women. And I've, since that time to 2013, I worked as a teacher. I was an intervention, intervention specialist, kind of like what IYT does. And then I worked um, as a curriculum specialist and a math teacher. And I did college tours and field trips. And I taught and I was a mentor. I was all these other things for this program called Making Waves. So you guys will hear stories of you around. I used to take a bus full of 60 students to Los Angeles for a week. And we stay in LA for a week. Any field trip experience you've ever had, I've had it. I've had buses break down. I've had kids get stuck in airports. I got stuck in another city. Crazy. Um, and in 2004, sorry, 2006, I got married. I had my first son when I was 2007, in 2007. And from that marriage, I have, um, I have, the currently the 12 or the 13 year old and then I have a daughter who's 20 and a son who's 23 
And in 2013, I decided that Making Waves was changing and there's some financial issues, so I left. June 28th, I left. I decided it was time to go. Is everybody still here? Yeah. I decided to go and I asked to be laid off and I went home. And for two months, I was chilling. I had some money in the bank. Let me just tell you this. The first week I was off, I, we went out to eat every single meal. We'd get up, go to Denny's, come home, chill for a little bit, go get some burritos. Then come you know, later that night, go get pizza. Just saying. We had a good time. Went, you know. And then in August of 2013, um, my wife called me complaining of back pain. And she went to the hospital. She went to the hospital for six days. And then she came home on August 9th. On August 10th, she woke up, asked me for some medicine, said a couple words, and she collapsed. And she died on that day. So I tell you that because you guys look at me and figure like I got it all figured out. Everything I knew in my life ended on 2000, in 2013. Everything I had known for almost at that point, nine years, eight, nine years had to change. So that was a tough, that was a tough stretch. Like I've, 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 I've been in some dark places. And then about six months later, I got, a, I got, a, I got hired by my son's school, a little private school to be a, a PE teacher. So I was the fat PE teacher. Everybody loved me. Can't lie, I was out of shape, but um, I became coach and the students loved me. And I'm not saying they're like just to brag, but I mean, people like me, but I was out there having a good time. I got paid to wear sneakers and shorts. It was like Josh's dream. And um, I was out there getting paid to play dodgeball through dodgeball as a kid. But um, one, one, one fall, I met a mom and became friends. We were friends for about a year and then we became closer, we became good friends. So about a year and a year after that, one day we're going for, we were going to meet up. We're going for a walk. Then we get something to eat. She asked me, "Are we dating?" And I was like, eh, let's "See what that makes sense." We had to be someone had to point out to us that we're dating. So unlike Brandon, who knew it from day one, someone had to tell me that I was dating. So, long story short, uh, we started dating, and then last summer we got married. So now I had got two more kids. So between two two marriages, I have four stepchildren and uh, one biological child, and four dogs somehow. And on top of that, I got the IYT guys who were like my other, my other sons or my nephews. So that's what's going on. And I joined IYT. Um, I believe that God led me down to this road. I joined IYT. I started the day after I got back from a honeymoon. I started IYT. So besides that, it's been a normal life. It's been you know, easy going. Uh, but I'll tell you this. And Josh and these guys can do this. They know I love what I do. I try to make it fun. I like to laugh. I like free food. I like fun. I like good times. And I love seeing you guys succeed. Nothing's a happier time than the month of May. I love watching people graduate. I hate graduations. Let me I hear that. I don't like the ceremony. Like why we have like 14 speeches, but I love walk, watching you guys cross the stage, celebrate with your families and your friends. And that's why we're here. So that brings us to IYT. We're here for one reason, to make sure that you graduate from college. That's the main reason. But the, at, especially at this point, it's also to make sure that you stay alive and that you're safe and that you know how to navigate this space. That's the space called life and space called Sac State or whatever school you end up at. All right, that's not it. All right, we're gonna, you know, because of time, I'm gonna skip the icebreaker, but next week we'll do the one with the, uh, it'll be fun. All right, whoever's up, it is your turn. Oh, so we have a question for you guys. What is like one thing you guys are looking forward to in college? Like, what's been one thing that's been on your mind? Or just like, you just can't wait or you're just kind of curious about, like, you could type your answers in the chat. And then, like, afterwards, like, you could share out if you like. But what's that one thing you just been anxious or, like, really, like, excited about? Yes. So Adrian said, getting to meet new people. That is always a fun part. That is Josh's favorite part about school, the people and the wealth.
Green, are you asking? I'm just encouraging people to type. Cool. Yeah. So, you know, Jalen, you're on, I mean, Juan, if you, and if you guys have questions, man, put them in here. Moises, or if you can, we, we just like to know, like, where you're coming from. Why is this not working? What do we got? One thing I'm looking forward to, this is from Jalen. One thing I'm looking forward to in college is meeting new people, friends, and professors alike. Great answer, Jordan. I mean, uh, Jalen, I like, I appreciate it. Cool. Just seeing people, right? At this point, I know. I right? see most of y'all saying, meeting people. I know y'all in a weird position. I, I feel it. I was in y'all's shoes. And, and I'm not going to avoid the, uh, the reality of this. Um, it's going to be weird that first semester. But the way it's looking, if everything goes the way it's planned, by, by second semester, you're back on campus. And talk about, one thing is you, you guys have experienced that nobody else has experienced is think about how excited people are going to be to be on campus. To be back on campus, it's going to be, it's going to be you know, live on campus. I'm just saying. Yeah, we all can't wait to see people. Trust me. Man, if they, if Not they, just fair. No, it's right. Not it's just for years. <laughs> everybody, right? To be back on campus hanging out, psh, it's going to be big. So, all right. Cool. Thank you for your answers. Let us move forward. All right. Next question. Miss Mill, you're up. All right. So, since, you, since we got a taste of uh, what y'all looking for for college, another concern, one, another question is, what is, like, you're concerned about going into college like what are you like you know worried about when you when uh once college starts you can say it out loud or you can put your uh answer in the, in the chat either one what do we have Adrian said, unexpected financial issues and management. Yeah, that is a real one. That's a big one. Yeah, I think that's a real good one. Um, to any of the coaches on here, have you guys, any of you ever experienced financial issues in college? Definitely, man. Definitely. I'm going to have to talk to you. Right? Okay, for me, not really. But uh, it hasn't happened yet, and I'm hoping not to. <laughs> right. right. But uh, in in Ismail, I mean, that's a, that's a reality for people too. Like you know, it just it just works. It, it works fine the whole time. And um, yeah. but also, you didn't. You also would have been very you know conscious of your work. You stay. At, you know, you're, you're living at home for uh, for right now, and and that makes sense. Sometimes what people do is they just they just they don't have dis they don't have discipline. And um, we'll talk more about that. Like I'm not blaming anybody, but it's just true. Like I was notorious for overspending, so. Jalen says, finding a good balance between academics and everything else. Yes, sir. That is a pro that is a true concern. That's like yeah, right on. Uh, yeah, that's like a priority. Yeah, that's really good. That's a good answer. Cool. Anything else from the other guys? Can you just type in the chat? Yeah, that's all good. Anything else? Okay. All right, we'll go on. Juan okay. said, uh, oh, if sorry. I am prepared. If I am prepared academically, if I am prepared academ academically for college. Uh, okay. To, to the coaches, I mean, did you, any any of you, were you worried about that? Like, am I really am I really ready for college? Can I handle this academic? Yeah. Experience? Yeah. Yeah, big time. I, I thought, uh, I thought, was I ready for this to go to being, like, prepared going into college, like, when I first started? And uh, I got really worried and I got scared, but, like, but you know, like first day, on your first day, it'll be a little confusing. Well, I mean, since everything's virtual now, it's probably gonna be tough, but uh, but yeah, it, it'll eventually like uh, smooth things out as you continue. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing you guys. These are all concerns that everyone said I had them. I mean, and don't be surprised if you take a class that you're like, oh, I was good in, you know, in math. And then you go to college and you struggle. It's, it's just different. So later on, we'll talk about tutoring. There's plenty of support, but you got to use it, right? 
All right, what is IYTU? IYTU is the college arm of IYT. So if you think about it, IYT is, 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 is there's the middle school, high school, and then there's the college program. We're the last stretch of the, of the race. If IYT is a race, we're the final, we're the last leg of the race. We're the ones that, we're the part that makes you, make sure you get through college. It's just that simple. We are a program based out of college campuses that support students on those campuses. Currently, we have a program at Sac State. We have one at Davis coming in, and we could have others. We also have a CC program. Um, but I you also include students who go to UC Merced and Santa Barbara and UC San Diego and Sonoma State and SF State. Any four-year college is covered under IYTU. So don't be surprised if you go to an event in like the winter break and there's guys that you've never seen before while they're from somewhere else. So cool. And all of the main ideas of IYT are part of IYTU, right? We're, we're a brotherhood. We do brotherly love. We have a creed. Um, we have a good time. We feed you. We have space for you guys to hang out, all those things. We'll talk about that in a second. That's not it. All right, cool. So it's divided. We have membership development, which is key. And if you'll notice, we have these, we have pillars of the program and under those are different things. So first we have like membership development. That is where, this is, that's a fancy way of us saying how we make sure that you grow and develop as a person. Makes sense? It's fancy. It's just a way of saying that's what we offer you so you can grow academically, professionally, personally, and socially. So first we have workshops. I believe this is me. Um, yes. So the workshops, we're going to actually fuse and make these part of the member meetings and then we're going to have other workshop opportunities. But we, we offer workshops and we also make sure that you know about workshops on campus about a variety of topics. Everything from like financial literacy, um, healthy relationships, keeping yourself healthy, maybe about nutrition, about traveling abroad, about graduate school summer jobs, any of those things, and the variety of things, but we'll have small workshops and our member meetings, then we have activity, there will be a larger workshops uh, throughout the year. Cool. And then, um, yeah. Then we have brotherhood activities. So basically, like, brotherhood activities, like, because, you know, our is a brotherhood, and, like, like, from your high schools, I know you guys have, like, little activities and, like, real talks, like, where that don't stop, if anything, it increases more, like, you get more involvement with like in terms of different types of stuff we can do more often you can hang out more with your brothers like because in college is different it's not just you're there at college the whole time taking classes like depending on your schedule you're gonna have holes and stuff where you can take breaks and stuff like that and we might have an event like in the middle of the day like we'll randomly go grab lunch have like a lunch for a day go there um we go camping we go bowling laser tag like you name it we had go to the movies like we do all these type of things you just have to catch us and like really you know just be around like be in tune with the program because you never know what you might miss yeah thank you josh josh perfect right just a way to get together and sometimes it's a big event sometimes it's small it might be a something as simple like josh is saying hey Five of you get called up and be like, hey, you guys want to meet for lunch? Let's do it. And it might be something big, like, like we have a retreat in, a, in December. Everybody's invited and we go away for like a couple nights and just, man, all we did is hang out. We had like an epic game of Uno. There was like 13 people playing. It was fun. Well, last year we went to a place where it snowed and we had a snowball fight. It was kind of cool. Cool. Um, next, we have a member meeting. Yeah. Brandon's going to explain what those are. Yep. And then um, we actually have member meetings. So, I mean, member meetings, we have it once a month. Uh, we don't have like three months of school, so I mean, three month, three times a semester. So I mean, it's usually on Thursdays. I mean, member meetings. We're gonna like this uh, this fall semester. We're gonna try to mash it up with some workshops, and you know, I mean, uh, these are mandatory for you to go. Uh, I mean, uh, you get like a lot of resources that you uh, you get connected to, and you know, just it's just a time for like all of us to like like get together, regroup, and you know, like talk about what happened throughout the month and talk about events that are going on at YTU. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. And then um, for the first semester, the member meetings will be in, um, will be online. Unless we can, if we figure out a way to do them in person, we will definitely let you know. But as soon as we can, we'll be doing these member meetings in person. Service, uh, we do community service, different opportunities. We do walks, like we did some walkathons and some other events. So there'll be opportunities to volunteer, get some service you know, to give back. Cool. And then 
Uh, coming up at the end of the month, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, is uh, the IYTU, IYTCC Summer Bridge, which Ismail is going to explain. Yeah, so um, the Summer Bridge Fest is a uh, three-day a three-day event. It's for all all uh, first first year uh, incoming students, and it will take place around uh, 10 to 1 p.m. Um, you, that's basically like to learn more about the campus and learn more about yourselves and uh, basically like uh, what, like what do you what can you expect when uh, once you start going to campus and you just start going to your uh, to your schools and stuff like uh, yeah and you also learn about can you handle this sort of thing you know uh, yeah anything else Jeff no that's it. it I mean it's definitely a good opportunity just to get everybody together you'll be with all the college students except for the CRC students so definitely a great opportunity so cool uh first year class so in case you didn't know um all of you need uh myself and michael lynch are going to be teaching what's called the sac state first year class there'll be two sections of the class um offered um on tuesday thursdays which you as fresh first year students at sac state are expected to enroll in so i can give you that information if you've already enrolled in your classes we need to go back in there and enroll um, if you have not already um, hit me up and I will give you the information so you can sign up for mine or for Michael Lynch's class. Either one doesn't matter. Same curriculum um, and we'll both be teaching these classes. Does that make sense? Fantastic. Cool. And then Josh is going to talk to you about our, our summer, our college summits and the winter summit. So we have our college summit. So like every summer, like, um, it's basically like a time you get together with your brothers and like we'll give you resources before like the school year starts and kind of like prep you before going into like your first semester or whatever next semester you're going into for fall. Um, like we said, we give you information about the program, what we're going to do that year, kind of like getting you ready for that next semester. And basically the winter summit is the same thing as the summer. It's basically just the bridge between your first semester and your second semester. So like, it's basically like the same thing, kind of gets you ready for the second semester right before that one starts. Right. And it's like a really a good opportunity to go to. I highly recommend. Yeah. Because cool. like, it kind of gives you like a kickstart yep. going into that semester. Yeah. And like for the winter summit, it'll be in person. And if it's in person, then we'll have giveaways. You know, we'll have prizes, we'll have workshops, we'll have lunch, we'll have all these things. And like, we might even have like an activity afterwards. So, cool. Thank you, Josh. Uh, tutoring. Uh, Brandon's going to talk about tutoring. Um, let me just say this before Brandon starts. Everybody needs tutoring at some point in college. And if they don't need tutoring, they're lying. I'm just saying. So, Brandon's going to talk about, uh, we have two different ways that we do tutoring. So, Brandon, go ahead. All right, thanks, Jeff. Um, so tutoring, right? We're talking about the topic of tutoring. We have study sessions. Uh, usually, for like in the past, we the uh, the way how we do study sessions is that you know we have everybody's gonna have an academic success coach, and you know your academic success coach usually is usually uh, hosting the sessions. But uh, for this fall, uh, we're probably gonna do it virtually. I mean, you can just hop into like a, a Zoom meeting, and we'll probably do it. I mean, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out like later in the fall and we'll like let you guys know about it. Uh, and then uh, the part where it says uh, connecting brothers to campus touring, uh, Sac State, they have a touring office called uh, Park. Uh, they usually uh, they usually do it, they have virtual tutoring. So I mean, they they have some students like in all majors, like depending on like what courses you have or what you're majoring in. Uh, they have it for computer science, uh, if you name it, political science, uh, geology, history i mean wh whichever you need uh, they're really nice and you know they'll always be they'll always be willing to answer your questions and then um if you guys have any questions about the right like is if you guys have an english class uh we have like the writing center um they're always helpful to like read over your oh yeah park is the training center at sac state um the writing center they're always like useful uh they're able to like help you with uh, like, enhance your writing skills or like re like review your essay or like whatever you're writing just to like help you figure out like what what you need to fix and yeah i mean if you want to go on with that jeff um and you know you guys have a tutor you have a like study hall in high school um it's a little bit different in college is like 
for example, like you might be like, oh, I have, uh, we have study sessions every, you know, every single day that are available. You can just come through for as long as you want. Like you come through for like an hour and just get some homework done. Uh, it's just an opportunity to study together. A lot of times what some of us need is just to be in a space with other people to keep us focused and just to be around other people and getting some work done. So cool. Thank you, Brandon. That's about it. All right. Mentoring. This is the key, right? This is uh, one of the things you do. But Josh can explain mentoring. Uh, so know. it's basically just like high school. Like you had a mentor, you get a mentor in college. Except you might have a class with this mentor. Like you always depend on what happens. So basically... For your first semester, since you guys are first years, you will meet with your mentor every two weeks. And then if you do well, depending on your GPA, you won't have to meet with them as often. But basically, your mentor is just there for you. They're just there for you, basically. Like, you have any questions about college, they're really good. Maybe, like, on your, camp like on your campus, they might be able to help you out, find things. You got questions about any class, they might be able to help you out or direct you to somebody who knows what they're talking about. And they're really just a person like you can just lean on, on just not even just school, but just some personal anything like some really solid people. And I'll write to you to take advantage. Perfect. Thank you, Josh. Uh, career planning? I mean, uh, yeah. is going to give a quick rundown. Yes. So career planning. Uh, usually we go on career trips in the past. Like we visited Google or, uh, yeah, we visited Google where like, you know, it was a fun trip. We got a lot of knowledge from it. I mean, uh, just for the computer science people and any other, like that Google has a lot of like departments where like it could be communications, history, you know, team building. Um, we were planning to go on to golden one in the last in the spring but then you know uh, we had to go into quarantine so we had to like reschedule that but uh, in the future you guys can actually like uh give us some suggestions about what you guys are interested in and then we could like try to like set career trips to like uh probably in like next spring to just uh if we're out of quarantine and then uh for internships uh internships we always we're always looking for internships for our students uh, every like this, we're always looking for inter internships that fit everybody's major. So I mean, I we like for political science. Uh, like it could be like at the state. It could be for uh over the summer for com computer science people or communications people, depending on uh what you're majoring in. And then uh we also partner. We also partner with the career center at Sac State. Uh, they're very good with the with a lot of things. So if you're confused about which major you're going into, uh. They're they're very helpful. Helpful. Uh, they're able to like talk to you and figure out what you're like very interested in, or uh, if you guys need help with a resume or a cover letter, they're able to like they're able to like uh, help you with the little aspects of what you need to be able to like get that interview or pass that interview. Uh, and yeah. Thank you. Yep. And the Career Center at Sac State is one of the most underused places on Sac State's campus, just to let you know. So make sure you, if you need some, and they're, they're dope. They have so many resources. Uh, we had a meeting with them the, uh, in March, and people were, were all blown away with how much they offer. So cool. All right, the office. Just to let you know, we just got the office. We got the office in January, and unfortunately, because of COVID, we are no longer there until we get back. But um, oh, Josh, who we're all going to talk about, but uh, to the team, do we like the office? Oh, yeah. the office is the spot. What, 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 what do you like spot. about it? Everything. I mean, we get a space for ourselves. So, I mean, that's the dope part about it. I mean, the office is basically a time you can just come, chill out. Like, let's say you just on campus. Your next class will start an hour or two. You can just come by and just relax. Just chill out. Like, you don't have to worry about anything else. Maybe you just want a place to chill. Perfect place. Maybe you want to chop it up. You know, your IYT brothers, go ahead. Or maybe you just want to, like, probably, like, get some work done real quick, a quick place you want to just go where you're comfortable around, you know, the people that you know. Slide by. Or you just want a quick snack, you know, Man. for your next class. Go slide by. We got the snacks, what, what coffee, kind of snack? all that. We what got a TV. Like? We probably finna get a PS4, run some 2K, lose by me. It don't <laughs> matter. Like, there's a lot of things, you know. It's like, so you don't have to, like, this swing by, like, I don't, there's no reason not to, like, this swing by the office is a really cool place. Right. You know, and chop and, it up. 
for right. the high school for the you know, for the new incoming freshmen. Hey, we got snacks. We got like granola bars. We had protein bars. We had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, cup of noodle, Pringles. We had a coffee machine. We had a hot chocolate thing. I mean, and we don't play. It's not like you know you guys don't have to really earn snack like in high school. You if you want to come through and eat, great. You know we're trying to get a microwave and a refrigerator in there. If you want to come and heat some food up, you can bring your own food from outside. We got a couch in there, some chairs. We got windows and fresh air. I say that because before we didn't have that. So cool. And if you're at UC <laughs> Davis, we have the, we'll have a new office as well. Cool. Thank you. All right. This is Emergency Grant. Just letting you know that if you are enrolled in school and at least part-time and you are active in IYT, we offer you an emergency grant twice a year, once each semester, once each semester to help you out with books, school supplies, or other living expenses that you may, that may come up. And if you want, if you need it, you just apply and then I'm myself and Renato would approve it. You need to be involved in the program though. I'm not going to do this. Oh, I'm, I don't come around for two, three months and you show up asking for money. The answer is going to be no, because that's not the relationship we want to establish. Now, if you're, you're struggling with, with IYT in school, but you need, that's different, but you can't just be like, oh yeah, I went to orientation. I went to the, you know, like the college summit in August and I show up in November asking for, for money. That's not the kind of thing we want to have happen. But if you need the help, don't forget to apply. It's a very easy process. We can send it to you through Cash App, Venmo, or a check. Oh, cool. And it's a great resource, just saying. And one last thing is, one of the major things we also do is we connect you to the campus, right? We hear about scholarships, we hear about jobs, we hear about campus resources, clubs, events. You're gonna constantly get information from us because we want you involved. So if, you, know, and you can ask us, you have a question about joining fraternities or clubs or how do I get a job on campus? How do I do this? ask and we are connected on campus josh and brandon both have had to go upstairs or down the hall to um, the vice president's office and they know us by name they know our program and they support us so just letting you know you're in good hands cool all right this is the part people like we already said snacks what else do they get well you also get rit gear you know gear way cooler than high school you know I mean? like just everything about design all that and you will get a shirt and then possibly other stuff too. Uh, you know, oh, we like I said it before, we have all the snacks. Like, <laughs> it's like you, like, we get, you still got all the snacks from um, high school, but like, it's even more now. Like, yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, so like, we uh, this year we were thinking about doing t a couple different t shirts, uh, dad hats, possibly some backpacks. Um, Maybe even some like um, other like the the pop socket things. Maybe some um, some things like that. But just if you have ideas and stuff, we can also we can always talk about that. Cool. Step up, y'all. YT swag. Yes, exactly. All right, a couple things right here. IYT graduation this Saturday. IYT summer bridge is coming up on the, the dates of the twenty twenty second to the twenty fourth. I apologize about that. The, um, Sac State, your class you need to enroll in that class as soon as possible. And orientation, you have to sign up by tomorrow. Cool. All right, I'm gonna stop the share. All right, you guys have any questions? I know we did a great job and we're thorough and entertaining, but do you guys have any questions you wanna ask? You can put it in the chat box, you can just ask. Or not. Could be anything, any burning desire or <laughs> just something you'll, even if you'll, you'll think it'd be a dumb question, just anything. Uh, so I want to ask if there's a if there's a link to the graduation this Saturday. Um, I'm gonna assume that there is, uh, but I would have to get it for you. Uh, let me see if I can get it from Alina. Did you get an invitation? Okay. Okay. Cool. Then I will keep talking. I'm gonna see if I can get it from Alina. See if we can do. You know what? Hold on. I might have it in my email. Not email. Sorry. Get the extent. Keep talking. If more questions, go for it. What? Did it just close everything? That's right. There are more questions in the chat room? 
God, sure. Might put you um, on game or something. So just to clarify, there will also be meetings kind of like in high school where we have like these mandatory uh, study halls in college, right? Or Sac State? Yeah. Um, they're called member meetings. And they're definitely, um, they're, they're different in the sense of like, it, it's not the same format, but it's the same idea. If that makes sense. It's not, to clarify, it's not like high school at all. You're not, you're not, it's not mandatory for you to go to a room and for you just to like, just do your homework and study. That's not what the membership meetings are. It's totally different from that. It's literally like, you're literally getting information. You might, you might get like a guest speaker, a special speaker or like, or sometimes we do activities or it might be one membership meeting. Like when we're back on campus, we might be able to go outside and barbecue. Like you're not just, it's not like high school where you go there you know, they talk and then you do homework the whole time. That's not what it is. It's different than that. Just yeah. All right. All right. That makes more sense. Thank you. Cool. That's a great question, though. That's a great question. I was, yeah, I that was where good. you coming from I mean, with that. I remember, <laughs> I remember the days in Valley. And also cool. just like a little different than high school. Since you're an adult, you know, we might just hit you up on like, you might get an email like on a, on a Monday, like, hey, first – 10 people to sign up for this gets to go like go to the movies or something. And it's not that we're trying to exclude people. We have a budget, right? You know, or first 15 that sign up, get to go do laser tag. And then we do it. You know, no permission slips and things like that are needed because you're an adult, right? Unless there's like waiver forms or it might just be, we're, we're thinking about shifting toward a model where we just do lunches sometimes. And as you guys just chop it up with one of the mentors. So you'd be like, Hey, you know, um, uh, these five people, like, you know, so for you be like, you know, Jalen Moise is one. And, um, Adrian, hey, meet at round table, one o'clock on Tuesday. Cool. Uh, Moises, go ahead. You don't have to raise your hand. Just talk. No. Oh, okay. But like, yeah, like these membership meetings, like you never know who you're gonna miss at these like meetings. You don't know who's gonna come and speak. One of the like guest speakers might be somebody exactly like that you want to do in the future, yeah. or you don't know what is going to go on. Like something can happen at the membership meeting that's going to happen that week, and you don't know you missing out on free food. And who don't love free food? Like we might be going on round table. There's like a um, round table on campus at Sac State. We might have planned something right then and there. Like hey, like you said, twenty people meet at this time. We're gonna go. Or we might have somebody exactly in your career speaking that day. Or it might – some crazy stuff might go down. You never know. I'm telling you. Yeah, like we had, a, we had a, a, a friend of mine who does financial stuff. He came out to talk to students. And no joke, we could have easily gone another hour to talk. He was breaking down, like, how to save, how to invest, how credit works, student loans, all these other things. Sometimes we just – we do uh we do Kahoot in the beginning. We do fun things. We're talking about doing um like when the weather's good, we're gonna do like like dodgeball or like a little like uh ba you know basketball or something afterwards. We're talking about doing uh, just things like that. Our whole thing is like man, just hanging out, you know, getting some time together. Cause it's college, man. It's it's definitely a different beast. It's not like high school where you're also you're all in the same building all the time, same like kind of buildings. So there's a lot of things out there, and you're gonna get you'll get text from us. Uh, it'll probably, it won't be from a, it'll be from a um, Salesforce, kind of like what you got now. But the reason we do that is just so you have information, right? And that's it. So, so any, um, any more questions? No? Um, <laughs> I know I've been kind of like still on the spotlight lately, but um, no problem. Where do we re-enroll for IYT? Because I, I I think in one of the slides, um, I think I saw like re-enroll for uh, IYTU. Maybe maybe I just kind of misinterpreted that. Nah, you don't re-enroll. It's oh, okay. it's nah. like you're a part of IYT. It just carries on. Yeah, you in college. Yeah. What was it? I'll tell you this though. There was supposed to be before COVID. Um, we're gonna do like a retreat. And at the retreat, you would become like an official member. Like you're already a member, but I'm like, like go through an official, like welcome to the program. Um, but it's going to be a little bit different now, but we definitely will do that at some point. As soon as we have, like, we can get all get together, we'll do something. But yeah, no. And COVID messed up a lot of things. We had yeah. a whole thing planned out. 
Correct. Uh, this, the ritual. Correct. And then we're also going to do is um, what I do is in the summer, we have to go through, we go through your names and we have to reclass what's called reclassifying you to a technical term. So like we go into the Salesforce system, we have to like reclassify what program you're in, assign you a mentor, all those things. Yeah. So just letting you know. Yeah. The IOT ritual way we have a whole thing planned for, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. And by the way, some people are like, Oh, I don't want to go on stuff, man. We had, we have some of these trips. They're just fun. Like that, that camp, that's the recent retreat. It was, it, it snowed. We were supposed to have a campfire. So I went up there and the guy was like, oh, I'm gonna start the campfire chief. No joke. By the time I walked like that seven minute walk back to the, to the building, it was coming down. Brandon, was it snowing? It was like snowing, snowing. Hey, that was like a beautiful snow. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, man, it's snowing for the first well, time. Man, they were out there. <laughs> out there it, out there snowball fights. They were, uh, try, went, went, took a, didn't they take, they're trying to find a way to slide down a hill. I mean, it was crazy. Yeah, just like well, hills I've, and been, I've been on that trip, like at least, Two, three times it has never snowed before but the fact that it snowed on the other time like it was it was really it was so cool right. yeah i wore last year like it was snow on the ground but it wasn't snowing like yeah and just we had a good time and then um i know i uh, see that like moises you got some pictures some anime pictures up there we we're thinking about doing like during the summer just like anime movie night if you want to watch a movie together we just do you know figure it out just jump on zoom and watch it together like you got a bunch of people between this program and the in the CC program that love anime. I love movies. Me and Josh, we always you know quoting like "Don't be a menace." We'll definitely we, we can throw that on. I mean, we, mm-hmm. we you know we can't go to the movies. We can still meet up somehow. Um, sometimes I'm not gonna be there. You know, I got I got dad duty, but we're all about man. I just want to make sure that one that you guys you IYT's goal, and I got to close on this because we got to wrap this up. Our goal on campus is to be your home away from home, right? The one at least one place where you can go to be yourself to get the help you need, to have the conversations you need, and to be able to kind of process and, and kind of deal with all the stuff that goes along with being a, a young man of color in a college campus. Because it's not easy sometimes. And we, we, we know that. That's where you talk to your mentor. Like you can go to Josh and be like, man, I feel like I'm the only black dude in my class. And you're like, yeah. Or somebody be like, I'm, I feel like everybody in the class is surprised that I like, like look at me because I'm Latino that I don't have an accent. And you're like, yeah, it's it just, and, and this, it's a crazy idea, right? People look at you and go, so, you know, Ismail, you're, you're, because of your, your DACA status, you're like, I'm not a, I'm not a DACA student. I'm like, not going to lie. That, but like, some people in college are going to say some crazy things to you. You're not going to believe me. If I'm lying, you know. You're not going to believe some of the things they're going to say to you. <laughs> I'm telling you this right now. Even, <laughs> even at Sac State, one of the most diverse colleges, you still going to get, I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, we've right had, now. <laughs> you've had professionals, like professionals walking across campus get, get talked to like, like almost like, why are you here? And he's like, cause I'm a professor. <laughs> like I have my ID right here, you know, and, but, but at the same time, there's some people on campus that are so dope. Like we have Dr. Mills. He has got our, I mean, he's one of these guys, like he's one of the best people you ever meet. Like he cares so much about you guys. He has, he doesn't know you, but he's willing to, to do whatever he can to make sure you stay in school and graduate. So, all right, I got to wrap this up. Um, uh, I will see you next week. If you guys need anything in between, please reach out. All right. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, I'm assuming that we're going to, be hosting this at the same hour uh, around yeah. three. Yes. Thank you for your time. I appreciate oh, you're welcome. It. Well, thanks for thanks for coming through. All right, you guys. Team, I'll see you at five. All right, bye. Appreciate everybody.